the beauty to the Rodrigo Ferrante today. Rodrigo Ferrante today, born the 6th of March 1980, is a retired Brazilian footballer. Though primarily a midfielder, today was notable for his versatility on the field. During his career he has played in every position except central defender. Once today even played as a goalkeeper for Palmeiras, when the team's usual starting goalkeeper was sent off. Considered one of the shrewdest signings Roma have ever made, Rodrigo today arrived from Siena on a free transfer in 2005 before going on to spend the best part of a decade in the Italian capital. In this video, we bring to you five of the jaw-dropping moments and goals that left Rodrigo today fans worldwide wildly amazed. Roma vs Olympiacos on the 18th of October 2006. Champions League. With the ball at his feet on the left-hand side of the penalty area, today he dragged it behind his standing leg with the inside of his right foot, before bringing it back across and in front of his body in the opposite direction with the outside of his boot. The Olympiacos defender was sent off balance by today's trickery, and could quite easily have tripped him in the box. Today he skipped past his challenge, before his shot was blocked by another opponent. In the blink of an eye, he had created a chance for himself from an unlikely position. The iconic move came to be known as the Aurelio, in honor of Roma's assistant manager at the time, Aurelio Andriazzoli, who had encouraged today to take the move from the training ground onto the pitch. He would go on to bring out the move on many more occasions, regularly bamboozling defenders with the quickness of movement. Roma vs Cagliari the 23rd of December 2006 Serie A Of course, today he often had the end product to ensure his wide range of skills had a meaningful impact, and even his finishes could be skillful in their own right. The best example was when he scored with an overhead kick in a Serie A game against Cagliari in Roma's last game of 2006. Christian Panux's cross from the right wing floated towards the center of the box, where today was lurking. Shifting his weight before rising into the air, he pulled off an acrobatic finish to send the goalkeeper the wrong way. Coming just five minutes into the game, today's early piece of instinct gave Roma the lead. The game finished 2-0, with today having helped Roma enter the Christmas break in high spirits. Roma vs. Real Madrid the 5th of March 2008 Champions League Only a handful of players can say they have scored for Roma against Real Madrid, and today he can count himself among them. He was part of the Roma team that won both legs of their Champions League last 16 clash in 2008. It was a unique achievement by that group of players, as it was the only time the club have done the double over a Spanish opponent in a major European competition. Roma went on to win that game 2-1 as well to reach the quarter-finals, making it one of the most significant matches today ever played in. Years later, he remembered in an interview with UEFA, scoring a goal in the Bernabeu against Real Madrid with a full stadium in the Champions League. I think that's the pinnacle for any player. Roma vs Siena the 21st of February 2009 Serie A Today he had to wait until his 20th league appearance of the campaign to get his first goal of the 2008-2009 season, but when the chance came his way, he got off the mark in style. Returning to haunt the club from whom Roma had signed him, today he scored the only goal of the game to give his side a 1-0 win. The ball fell kindly to the Brazilian after being headed away by a defender. From the left-hand side of the box, today he needed no invitation to aim for goal with his stronger right foot. Aware that he would need to place the ball perfectly to ensure it wasn't blocked by a defender, today he curled the ball into the far top corner of the Siena goal. He could not have placed it any better, the ball dipped underneath the crossbar and beyond the gloves of former Roma keeper Gianluca Cursi to nestle in the net. Roma vs Juventus the 27th of January 2011 Coppa Italia Even as he entered his 30s, today he still maintained his ability to pull off acrobatic finishes. In a Coppa Italia quarter-final against Juventus in 2011, today he scored another goal that showed the flexibility of both his body and his brain. As the game entered stoppage time, with Roma 1-0 up, Daniel De Rossi sent a free kick into the box. Barely any attackers had ventured forward, but today he found himself on the shoulder of the last defender. Spinning away from his marker, today he only had the keeper to beat, but with his back to goal, it was not so straightforward. 
That did not stop him, though. He instinctively rotated his body 180 degrees, managing to connect with the ball on the volley as he turned. It went beyond the reach of Marco Storari to confirm Roma's place in the semi-finals. After Roma. His nine-year spell with the club is the second longest any foreign player has ever spent at Roma, once again, behind only his compatriot Alder. Today he dedicated more than half of that career to Roma, showing great loyalty towards a club that he came to recognize as his own. He retired from soccer after playing for Perugia after leaving Roma at the age of 36. In a 2017 interview, he said, I miss Roma a lot, and I miss the fans, who continue to show me a lot of affection even today, both in life and on social media. They show me respect for what I have done. Rome is really like home to me, I feel like I was born there.